Genshin Impact 1.1 update. It's quite the doozy. In this video, I want to go through every single mechanic added to the game, a few bugs that happened, a few features and events, and of course, going through the story as well at the end. It was our first major update in the game, so it was very important to leave like a, a, a good lasting impression. And you know what? I think they've done it. I think they've done it. I know some people were asking or hoping for a new map, which I thought was a big ask. But what we got was some good quality of life mechanics, as well as new bosses, uh, a brand new section of the story, and new events. Before I start, I should probably like mention, um, I did get my sword. In the previous video, I was trying to pull for the sword, I spent like over 14,000 Primo Gems, and I got this. No! And this. Um, no way! What? That is so sh In the same temple. I was devastated offline though. I did however pull a little bit more, like another like 30. I couldn't help myself. And I got the great sword. I got the wolf's gravestone. D look is complete. Praise D look. My only five star character to date. I, I have like four different five star weapons. But d look is my only 5-star character, man. I'm hoping and praying for a 5-star character at some point soon. But yo, if you're gonna have one 5-star, d looks a pretty good one to have. I'm sorry I didn't record my reactions there. It, it would've went something like... like this. Something like that. So one of the biggest mechanic changes in the game is this. The reputations of each town. Each region now has reputations. We're gonna be seeing probably more of these as more of the locations are unlocked as well. And this offers you a bit more to do every single week. If you're struggling to find like in-game stuff to do because you're you're really far into the game and you're you're completely tied to how much resin you have, well don't worry, we have a few more things to do. So all four of these will help contribute towards your reputation in that selected town. You've got your Luye quest here. Uh, all the little sub-quests that you've had, all the main story quests, you can now redeem your reputations through it. Requests are kind of boring. I'm not too happy about the requests. They're kind of lame. They're kind of like very simple. You can only have three per week. Not three per city, but three per week. And all you do is go to that person. They ask for like, oh, I'm really hungry. Give me three apples. And you give them three apples. You got bounties. Bounties are a bit more interesting. You select the bounty. They have like a modification on there. You know, for example, invulnerable to like electro damage and geo damage, and it's weak to crit damage. So you're gonna have like a crit building character. So you go in a big circle radius. You use your your senses to try and find the trail and lead you to like three different like markers. Once you accomplish those markers, the big final uh, bounty boss will appear. You kill the bounty boss pretty easily. You get your reputations. I would definitely recommend going for the top one every single time. The five star. It might be difficult. It might be longer, but heck if you're looking for that extra content you might as well do it if you're running out of time or you push for time maybe go for like the eight reputations and then finally you have the world explorations because they have added like these new uh viewpoints within the world the little like purple holographic markers in the world you want to go find those collect those and they'll help towards your world exploration and eventually you get a bit more progression that way uh as far as i know you don't get anything for 100 world completion or exploration, so maybe you get an achievement at some point, I don't know. So why do you want reputation? It gets pretty sick. So at first you get the, the mining out crop search, which helps you find more Christies. You want those Christy chunks. They've added like magical Christy chunks, which by the way, suck ass. <laughs> they don't really do much at all. You can use the magic Christy chunks to make more enhancement auras, but you have to use resin. And of course, that is a precious resource that we have and we do not want to spend crafting enhancement auras. You're better off just getting the Christy chunks and converting those every single day. Condense resin. If you're pushed for time or you're struggling in a domain, 
then go ahead and craft some condensed resin. It literally converts your 40 resin into a big old chunk, which you can convert or use in a domain later on. But remember, it only doubles your rewards. It does not increase your odds for like rarer items. So if you push for time or you can't spend your resin in time, you, you can always convert it into condensed resin. You can only have three of them on you at one time. You can't just keep farming resin and re like over and over and over again. Level four, you get merchant discounts sure why not i mean more is quite fleeting these days the adepti seekers stove at six which it's like a you can cook on the go you can cook wherever you please you can put down a stove and cook it's kind of cool it, it's not really something I'm, I'm too psyched about but it can help with those annoying uh, fetch quests, request quests. Geo Treasure Compass! So they have introduced these treasure compasses into the game now, which is awesome. Using them will help you find more treasures. I don't know how it works yet. I don't know. I'm hoping they're good or useful. If literally you find one chest and it disappears, it's gonna kind of suck, right? Unless it's really easy to make. You get some recipes at seven, a really cool little banner here, and then some awesome looking wings. You'll see like little like, uh, these wisps or like, uh, animo butterflies out there you collect them you get three of them you get a nice little like tornado that can send you upwards you know now you can capture them and use them at your own will i guess so that's cool i suppose i don't know what i would use that for but it, it's in the game some really cool mechanics right there they also kind of like they broke the game a bit at one point they fix the elemental reactions in the environment so for example you know, if you're standing in water, electricity will do more damage and it will scale to your world level. That apparently wasn't happening beforehand and thus it fixed that so it does scale now. When they did that, um, every fire character would die and perish. My dialogue would melt to his own fire so quickly and he would die immediately. Reddit was filled with like gifts of Klee's just literally melting in fire. If you fight the water boss of an electric character, you would just die. You could easily go to someone else's world and absolutely grief them with your fire or electro character. It was an absolute mess. I couldn't believe they released that on update. I can't believe they didn't even test it out. They did like after about four or five days, retract it and kind of like balance it a bit more. It's still pretty hefty, but I actually enjoy it a lot more. I think it's okay now. It has been a bit problematic, but I guess it's part of the game. Has it, like, enhanced my enjoyment of the game? No. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Like, for example, some certain areas of the event, I have to now, like, pre-burn the grass for me to do it properly. Otherwise, it's a big, big ball ache. There's a new event out, uh, the Meteorite event. It actually took me by surprise. It was a lot more in-depth than I thought with cut scenes and all sorts of stuff going on, their own interface. It's actually really cool. But right now, I want to talk about this update. How I think it's, it's a pretty good update. I think they made a good impression. And it's made me very excited for the next update as well. But I do hope they keep them coming because otherwise the content in the game will not last enough. I think people might leave if they don't keep updating at a quicker pace. My little notes on the update would be perhaps make it so like this world right here that's so barren right now because I've already been right through it. Maybe add a bit more to it. Add some more random events, some tougher events. Give me more multiplayer things to do as well. I'm always like in a Discord server playing alongside of my, my mates here in Genshin. And none of us are in each other's world. There's no point. We don't have resin. So once we run out of resin, we stop playing. We don't go to each other's world anymore. We just play individually in the same call. It's weird. It's a very weird multiplayer game experience. Let me just get some uh, bird meat. There we go. <laughs> Precious bird meat. So child's gameplay, it's, it's super fun. I absolutely love playing child in the trial. I actually really wanted him. He kind of works really well with Dialook. His passive ability is extremely powerful, increasing your physical or your first normal attack uh, talent by one level. Could be amazing at the end game. But not only that, but his actual like mechanics it is so fun. I actually don't like bow characters, but damn do I love child. The way you can like switch from your bow to like these water blades and go absolute crazy in there is amazingly fun. They've given him a more complex way of fighting enemies, a more complex combat system, and I actually really adore that. It's a lot more fun. 
He's a lot more diverse in what you can do with him. And of course, he is top tier DPS. Then you have Cat, Lolly Cat. I don't like her at all. They added some other like quality of life uh, changes as well. Um, they added like, what is it? You can like lock weapons now so you don't accidentally ascend them or use them as materials to ascend other weapons. That's really useful. They put like a sorting um, mechanic for the artifacts. Honestly, things that should have been in the game. You now have a pretty like archive screen here. It looks beautiful. Absolutely love this interface. I think something that Genshin is struggling with so far is their interface. A lot of gameplay is hidden behind like clicking several billion times just to access the things you need. For example, getting this quest right here, you have to literally click five times in order to even get the quest to spawn. It shouldn't be that difficult. If an event comes up, this should be its own icon at the very top, okay? I want a quick bar to it. This is, is, is too much work for my, my dumb brain. But the update was good. The story was actually really entertaining. Uh, I actually don't like the cutscenes too much because they go on and on and on. And sometimes they go on for way too long. They added like stuff into dialogue, which I don't really care about. And I just want to like entertain my dumb, dumb side of my brain and just murder and kill. The combat in this game is what I love the most. Let me do more combat. Stop making me watch cutscenes. Stop making me look at Paimon do literally a, a sassy little quip every 10 seconds in a cutscene. I get it. She's a sassy little like fairy girl. I, I don't want to be exposed to that every 10 seconds. Let me walk and talk at the same time. Let me like fight something while like Paimon's next to me talking to me. You know, the game already does that sometimes. I want more of that, less cutscenes. However, saying this, the cutscenes in the story are actually like amazing. The cutscenes sometimes are um, laborious. Anyways, talking about cutscenes, I'm gonna go goodbye. And me from a different time period is going to explain the storyline to you as well as he can. Uh, he's struggling though. Help him out. Give him some. Give some praise. So there I was out dining with Zong Li asking, when's your banner coming out? When's it out? When can I summon you? Before he can tell me, a half girl, half goat interrupts us and is like, Ning Wang summons you to her floaty palace. So I climb all the way to the top of this mountain to get there. And the game is like, you need a Nemo. Change your traveler to a Nemo. So I go to the nearest statue, change from Geo to a Nemo, teleport back, climb all the way back up again, and the game is like, we can't make it from here. So then Paimon is like, we can shoot ourselves up there with a blister. Or some stupid There, we meet Ninja Electro Girl, called Kaching, who is one of the lay, lay, lay air. <laughs> Who is one of the Li Air Chi Sing? And she's all like, gods are stupid and we don't need them. Then Paimon's like, Ning Wong needs a gift with some. Boom shakalaka. Shut up, Paimon! So we kill a slime, we put sugar on it, save a merchant, and then we're off to the floaty palace. We finally meet Ning Wong and we talk about stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Explaining that the Geo Archon used giant stone pillars to seal gods in the Archon War. Then she's like, I like you, have some paper. The paper had info about the Fatui making a seal of permission, which can undo those giant stone pillars sealing the gods. We get bored, we head back to Zongli and ask him, hey, when's your banner coming out? Is it soon? I'm saving up for you. And he's like, I need special flowers. And you must sing to it. We sing. Da 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 da. The flowers hate it, but then Goat Lady, who's actually called... Uh... Yangu? Who, who's that? You have completely... She has a flower that we need. Back at Liye, the Adepti are pissed. So Liye are preparing for a fight. Using the power of Big Brain. We finally realize that Child's ulterior motive has something to do with the Exuvia, aka the Rex Lapis dragon body. So we go check it out and Child is like, ha 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 ha, that's right, I'm bad and here's my evil plan. Evil plan equals getting Gnosis from Rex Lapis's body, aka the Exuvia. Kind of like how they gut punched Venti and got it. 
They want that. And then we fight child. But here's the boss battle I've been waiting for. Yo, when I like heard that you had to like fight child, I was ecstatic, man. I thought, oh yes. A really cool boss battle. What's going on, man? Why have you got like a giant shield going on? Just do a little Phoenix dive here. You're gonna like go back in like fear. You're like, oh shit, he's too strong for me. And then I'm gonna go like Oh shit. I actually wanted him as a character, but I was like, look, I've got dialogue. I don't really need Child. He's like a really good main DPS. But yo, I wouldn't mind rolling Child if he just randomly pops up. I wouldn't mind having him at all. This man's like second DPS. He's about to die, dude. He is about to die. He transformed. Oh. Oh. So he gains the lightning damage. We destroyed him. <laughs> and yet, we're on the floor. It's quite impressive. But that's about as. Yeah, he's grunting pretty hardcore there. Yo, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But there's a reason why no one uses the Traveler. He's using both Geo and Anemo at the same time. I wish we could do that. Yo, he's he's gone nuts. He's actually crazy. I thought maybe it's like, you know, oh, I'm a good guy, but also kind of a bad guy. But no, he's just full-on bad guy. Also, anime transformation scene. Oh, he just became amazing. See, why can't I pull for this character? Holy sh**. It's a Tyglier. There he is. This is extremely anime, and I love it. This is awesome. Oh, this fight is not over yet. Okay. He has a true form. That's some, like, Age of Ultron sh** there. That's awesome. I love his, like, galaxy cape. Oh. So he is, like, electricity, which means we should be okay. If he was just water, we might struggle a bit. But honestly, we're, we're good here. We should probably, like, avoid some of his uh, attacks, right? All right. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked here a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, we're doing so much damage though. Honestly, with a new sword, this is kind of cheating. I kind of feel bad. But I will I will do this fight again, by the way. You can farm this fight afterwards, apparently. So, I'm looking forward to doing that on a weekly basis. Barbara, you have it! Use your water magic, quickly! Oh! Oh, that's beautiful, it's like a narwhal. <laughs> That was beautiful, dude! Gonna do this. And there you go. Great boss battle. I was a bit too overpowered for it, unfortunately. I was being carried heavily by Dialuk. Your boy needs it. Show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? That's through simple leveling up with Primo Gems. Lots of Primo Gem grinding. Getting five-star weapons and characters. Why do you ask, child? Are you some kind of dirty free-to-play player? <laughs> Fool! Fear my credit card! Me and child become besties. He still wants that gnosis and realizes that Rex Lapis is actually out there, still alive and holding that gnosis. So he's like, well, I'm gonna like summon a big old god using the seals of permission, which are gonna spin around me like a Beyblade. And then it becomes the element that is H2O, spirals off into the sky, and is like, see ya, bitch. Oh, there he goes. See, that was me thinking that I beat him. Three times. Yo, lay you team assemble. You have bird, other bird. You have the deer. You have Ning Wong, badass Zhao. Teapot lady is here, I guess. Some, some cool shit happens, for sure. I was like, oh, cool boss fight. Yeah, I finally finished it. Nope, nope, there's more. There's like five water serpents. Oh, oh, she's doing it. She's going. Yet to get her, by the way, in a banner. Would love to have this character as well. She seems really cool. Yo. I mean, her character can't do that. It's pretty impressive. So she, she just made three ballistas. Oh, they're going. <laughs> oh, yep, they're now glowing. 
becoming one with the blisters. Never mind, they're firing like crazy. Those blisters are awesome. Forget guns. Those are so much better. The Fatui. Of course they would. Oh, Kaching, let's go. I want her to fight along side of me. Please. Or let me try her out. That'd be also awesome. Ah, sh she's not my party. All right, defend the Fatui. I mean, the blisters from the Fatui. Don't defend Fatu Fatui are bad. Okay, okay they are level 71. <laughs> Seems a little bit too easy for me. Yo, that looks beautiful though. That's amazing. Look at that. Look at the waters. This is so cool. Never thought I'd see a bird using a ballista like this. But here we are. Best timeline ever. Look at them go. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean? Oh no, it's water gun. It's hydro pump. Yo, that's so cool! Ow, okay, it's attacking us. Alright, sorry. Yo, I was too busy being mesmerized by the, the beauty of that attack. Okay, watch out for that move. Yo, watch out for that move, I said. Don't die here. It'll be really embarrassing. You're recording this, remember? Alright, go for the healer first. Yo, even with dialogue, this is a little bit spicy. Even with dialogue, it's spicy. I appreciate the spice. It's not easy. Dude, it's at 64% already. What is going on, man? I, I can't kill them. I literally, I can't, I'm gonna lose. Dude, I'm the worst. <laughs> Here, take this. Well, what's going on? Why am I so powerful? Is this part of this? Man and Pink Shockwave. I was supposed to do badly, right? I was feeling really awful beforehand. But no, I think I was supposed to do badly. <laughs> right? Right, guys? Go ahead and ult you guys from this side. There you go, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Ganyu. I too did this during the Archon War. Mm-hmm. I know. I get it. You're old. Take my power and run as I do. Oh, you, you, you're just gonna imbue me. You know what? I'm all for it, dude. I was hoping you'd fight alongside of me, but just, yeah, just imbue me with all your powers. That's also pretty dope. Now, what am I doing again? I feel like I should be doing something. By the blessing of the combined, you yield all three powers at once. Yasa! I'm the most powerful being known to mankind, dude! I am a god! You have made a god! Fools! You have given me your power! And I am stronger than ever! That will save you this time, puny mortals and, and adept die. But I am now stronger than gods itself! I will burn everything in the purest form! In fire alone! You've given me the keys to the kingdom to rule this world! I fear that the god's power has reached its peak! What about my power? Look how I glow with aura. With red aura. Alright, what's going on? Oh, okay. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Did someone just die there? I'm just healing constantly. This is the best thing ever. What a great way to play the game. <laughs> if you want to do a quest line, and you want to be successful, just make you make the characters super powerful. It's so much fun. Burn in the purest way. Thank you. Fire is the purest form of death. You, excuse me, good sir. There we go. Oh, you're still alive? There you go. Yo, so much power. Don't take it away from me. Oh. This is my real power. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, just, it's the biggest hyper beam man has ever seen. It's still chilling. Uh, oh shit. Oh no, water. Uh, I already showered today. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's not good. Yo, thank you! That was really awesome of you. What about the rest of them? You saved one. One god was saved. Be careful now. Alright, we're, we're besties now. Cool. I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. You can't, Ning Wong! You can't! You love the Jade Chamber! I understand. Yo, that's so cool. Oh, we're all glowing. So anime, dude. Let us meet again in the future. What's going on? Why? <laughs> How is it gonna help anyone? Excuse me? What is going on here? Oh.
Oh, we're cool. We're fine. With the power of magic and the dip die, we're fine. That small explosion is fine. I feel like... I feel, I feel like there's a better way of doing that. I have an idea. We'll drop this giant floating palace on top of the water. That will destroy the water. Ever heard of oil? Just like, pollute the ocean with oil. You win. Water's biggest weakness is oil. Just put loads of oil in there. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. Yeah, Overlord of the Vortex is a sweet ass title. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. Yeah, Cloud Retainer. Stop being a dick. Side part of a then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room. But with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. Way to rub it in there. You can clearly see, everyone, that her dreams and hopes have just been crushed and destroyed. Isn't that right, Ning Wang? Everything you love is gone! Meanwhile, the editor of this cutscene was like, Hey, we should make it so it views the granny. But because she's old, we should also put Ning Wang's boobs in the foreground. And they should wobble out of sync. I just... <laughs> This game is too horny. As Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such sucker. Yeah, maybe like choose like a different form, like a dragon. If you chose like a dragon form, I would show you more respect. You chose a bird. You chose a bird. You're a very pretty bird, but you're a bird. You lay eggs. <laughs> Dumb bird. I apologize for appearing in full armor. Yeah, you should, you should be sorry. You should definitely be apologizing. It's not like we had a war with a god recently. Thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Oh, and the Traveler! The Traveler was also pretty helpful too! Hey, Feng Wang, did you see the Traveler do some cool stuff? The Traveler was there too! Did you see that, Feng Wang? Did you see that? Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Huh? Because we are Adepti. <laughs> it must, it must be, be hard, hard being, being Adeptus. Adeptus. For we are Adepti. And we can't have fun. It's forbidden by the gods. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swear it ends well, huh? You can say that again. I'm just a vessel for this story plot. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Zhongli. And his banner that's coming out in 29 days. Stylist right of parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhongli's gone. Oh my Let's god. Let's ask for him at Wangsham funeral. Stop. <laughs> Shut up. Paimon thinks we should do this. Paimon the Paimon the Paimon the Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could- Shut up. Shut- shut up. We had better go and make sure- Shut up. I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Yo, I don't know if I should be turned on or scared by her. You're also one of the Harbingers- Yeah, you're the one that gut punched Venti. That was pretty cool. Hello. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Yeah, that's when you slap Venti across the face like a bitch. Invasive- <laughs> I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. I still have time to take it back. No, don't let her get to you. You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements. Yeah, just go ahead and tell everyone about how we can gather the power of all seven elements. Just do that, Paimon. It's fine. It's cool. All the forces that have been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil. Yo, all I can think about is how much it would hurt if I put my finger in that thing behind her. Just... <laughs> so Zhang Li actually planned this from the very beginning. He was trying to test the people of Liye if they have it in them, if they needed him anymore. They wanted to see if he was made redundant or not. And they passed the test. They don't need Daddy Zhang Li anymore to look after them. However, in doing so, he's apparently made an agreement, a deal, a contract to end all contracts that results in giving away his gnosis to Signora because the cryo Arkin, aka her boss, wants all the gnosis. Child had no idea. Child was tricked into doing all this. 
So he's like not happy. Lee came with a bullshit reason as to like what all transpired and why, kind of covering it all up so people weren't pissed off at like the different factions. So the Fatui kind of get off scot free, especially Child. Then they finally have like a funeral for the Exuvia Zhong Li. Because you know what? It's kind of like a passing for him. They don't need him anymore. It's like their way of saying, hey, we don't need gods no more. So Keqing is like ecstatic. Zhong Li talks about the future up. Updates. Zhong Li talks about the update, how a Electro Shogun Arkin is going to be the next one. And that sounds pretty badass. When Surabana are coming out. And to end it all, we talk. We, we can talk. The Traveler talks. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? He's speaking! Amazing. Everyone clap and applaud. Look at that. What a way to end it. Amazing. Let him talk. Give him dialogue. Let the man or woman talk, depending on who you chose. Let the traveler have speaking parts. Fuck. Let him speak. He has the most interesting story out of all of these characters. I want to more I want to become more attached to this character. They won't let me, because he doesn't even talk. And that's the story in a nutshell. There's also like the bonus story about child, Tartaglia and his brother. It's pretty cool. He does the whole like transformation thing again, and he kills like a lot of robots. It's fun. It shows like a lighter side of child. It makes you like him a bit more because you know previously, of course, he was kind of like a jerk. But as a reward, you get to farm him as a boss every single week. Yeah, you get to kick his ass every single week and steal his loot. And it's multiplayer, which is nice. It's a relief to see. They let you team up with your friends now to do a boss, which is nice to see. I'm really glad they're doing more multiplayer stuff in the game. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. It was kind of like, what's the point? The update's out and everyone's played it already. Well, I just want to give like my opinion and I also want to know what you guys think as well. Is there any like thing that you really liked in the game they've added or is there anything you, you, you dislike? Or better yet, tell me what you want in the game. Tell me what you want in the next update. A lot of people are saying like, hey, you should give us the dragon spine already. You should give us like this mountain area. They keep talking about it. Even in the new uh, events, they've been talking about it a bit more as well. They keep hinting about it. It's where the, it's where Devalin, AKA Storm Terror, and this other evil dragon had this big fight. It's how he got corrupted in the first place. It has a lot of story involved in it. I had to like dig this story up to like really understand it. So it'd be really cool to like have this as a next area, even though they have already mentioned like you want to go to the Electro Kingdom where the Electro Arkin is. But yo, yeah, let me know what you want to see in the next updates. If it's any mechanics or maybe even quality of life things that you want to see as well. Zhang Li's banner is still not out yet. I've been seeing this stupid face for a while, but I have six days left until it's over. And then hopefully when it's over, they do do Zhongli. I've been farming Primo gems. I do want Child. I want Tartaglia. But then literally everyone I know has gotten Tartaglia. So I was like, look, he's cool and all, but Zhongli might be cooler. I would not sleep on Tartaglia. He's actually pretty perfect for my team. He works really well with uh, Diluc. But... I could get Zhongli instead. All right, that was me rambling on about Genshin. I am sorry about the lateness of this video. This took me a long time to edit, and also I kind of like put it off for a bit because I was like, well, no one's gonna even watch this. So what's the point of doing it? And looking at the views right now, I, I don't know the views of this video, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty bad. <laughs> so like, I was right to postpone it. There was no point. However, I am gonna give Genshin Impact the best shot on my channel. I'm gonna keep trying to do videos on it. I'm gonna really try. The competition is is fierce though. There's so much clickbait in this community. It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the clickbait. It's ridiculous. So it's gonna be really hard to like get my videos shown out there to a new audience. So I really need your guys' help. Um, if you're already watching this to this point, you're already helping me out and you're already doing what you can. So I appreciate that. Let me know what kind of videos you want on Genshin Impact. I'm kind of like brainstorming about what kind of like content I want to do in this. I don't want to do the run of the mill content, but I might just do what the hell I want in Genshin. I don't know. Let me know. I will. I promise I'll read the comments and look at your recommendations. But anyways, guys, that's been the video. Thank you so much. And end video.